Welcome to another episode and I made something light and easy for you guys. So, I want to talk to you guys about gas in which you can see that I am clearly suffering from. But not to spread negativity, I'm actually here to justify to you that gas is okay. Also, I hope my wife sees this and finally understands my struggles and perhaps let me buy more. Alright, a little bit of history. About 5 or 6 years ago when I bought my first film SLR while I was working in Singapore. It was the Canon A1. I wanted to force myself to learn the basics of making a foreground. So I thought having a film camera will help me out. And it did. Eventually, I got into rangefinders, started with the cheaper Canon Canonet and then moved up to the Leica M's. Then the next thing I realized, I have about 10 film cameras on my shelf. I eventually started letting go of them one by one before I flew back here in the Philippines. And after two years, this is what I have now. And a few more actually in my room. Alright, now let's justify the mistake. I mean, why I purchased this. Compared to before, I am now actually following a couple of rules that let me decide if I really need to buy a certain camera. First, it has to make me more money. I actually started a small online film camera shop, so it does make sense to have all these cameras with me. And the truth is, I understand that film cameras' values appreciate over time. The cameras I used to own 2 or 3 years ago now cost twice as much. So I guess buying now means more money later on. By the way, these cameras will be featured in my photo box series before they get posted on my shop. So I hope you guys tune in and wait for the upcoming episodes. Second, I have to have the money to buy it. The last few years that I was working in Singapore, I realized how little my savings are. So my wife and I started really saving up and cutting a lot of expenses. I realized the importance of being financially responsible and the importance of emergency funds. Now, during this pandemic and with a business to run, it was easier for me to buy some cameras without really hurting the bank. Since my wife and I have already prepared ourselves for this kind of unprecedented events. By the way, I know it's tough for everyone, including myself, but I know we can do this. Third rule, I must wait for a day, a week, or a month. This rule is hard to follow, but it does become favorable at times. The reason I try waiting as long as a month is because it gives me time to think whether I really need a new gear or I just got too excited after watching all these YouTube videos about film cameras. One month is plenty enough of time for me to actually do my research and learn more about the camera. Also, a lot may happen in 24 hours. What more in one full month? I mean, you might need the money for something more important like my one-year-old son's PS5 that is crucial for his learning development. Fourth rule is paralysis by analysis. I had this problem before where it became very difficult for me to choose what camera I will bring for a certain event. Because of too many options, my decision making is compromised. Now before I even buy it, I have to make sure there is purpose of buying it and it's not going to make my decisions of choosing what camera to use any harder. All my main cameras have their own jobs to fulfill, which makes it easier for me to decide. Like this Olympus OM4 Ti. This is my go-to camera when I'm on camping trips or doing landscapes. This Voidlander R2A and my Contax G1 are my favorite street photography cameras. And the latest in my collection is my Kyocera P-Scope, which happens to become my everyday camera. Finally, I have to treat myself and be happy. Life is short and it's not always fun. So why not treat yourself with a new gear? We all work tirelessly and life is always throwing us challenges. 
It wouldn't hurt if we will make ourselves feel better once in a while, right? I already accepted the fact that I won't be earning enough money to buy me a yacht or ride my own private jet. And these cameras are the closest thing that I can buy myself and feel great about. So why not just enjoy the things that are within our grasps? So the next time your wife, your husband or your partner disagrees, you better man up and tell her no one's going to stop you from enjoying your life. Also, do not quote me on that. You did not hear me say that. That is all folks. I hope this is an enjoyable and relaxing episode despite the stressful things that is happening around us. I am not your financial advisor and I hope I'm not the reason why you lose all your money. Peace. Thank you.